Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review, or more than review, just an update on how my Marc Jacobs toe is holding up. I've never shown it on YouTube before, but on my Instagram I've shown it a lot. So this is it. I keep it always on the dust, on its dust bag. This bag is already two years old, and that's why I wanted to review how it's holding up and just in case you're looking for, to buy one even if you're looking to buy a pre-love because this is just like an idea on how you're going to expect to receive it uh, obviously it depends on the care of the owner but I'm, I'm i'm very careful with my bags so i'm pretty sure that if you get a decent um you know like a decent treated bag uh, this is the condition you might find it I'm you know I'm, I'm very into luxurious handbags but recently I've been more into contemporary bags just because of the price increases and everything that's another story but this bag I have a love-hate relationship with it because it's a beautiful quality I love the leather the leather is so soft and uh, it's holding up great for two years I use it quite a bit it's not like I don't use any of my bags every single day I usually change bags if not every day every every two or three days it depends on, on what I'm wearing uh, and this is a bag I tend to use a lot on summer so it's summer right here where I live now and it's uh, I'm taking it out a lot but even though the leather is amazing there's no doubt about that it's one of the most luxurious leather I have uh, without being so uh, delicate you know what I mean because I have my Saint Laurent puffer bag and this is also a very light color so but I'm not afraid of damaging even though it's so supple and so buttery, you know? The leather feels great quality, but still sturdy enough, like to use every day if you want to, even though this is a light color. So my YSL puffer bag, it's a lot buttery, well, m more like, I don't know how to explain but it's it's lighter it's like a lighter leather but you can also tell it's really much more um, delicate so this bag I have I think they at least the leather version I don't have any other version but at least the, the leather version is I think it's the right point like you know it's gonna work fine it, it's a great leather but it's it, it's a great price point Point, I would say and it will hold up very well however this is something that happened to me pretty early and I thought that was gonna be uh, an issue with the other corners the corners well as in every as in every bag leather bag they will show some marks I don't know if you can tell right there but nothing I, I wouldn't say it's it's that a big deal at not at least not for me if you're using it you're gonna have to expect these kind of things let me try to show it to you so yes it has some marks especially on these borders at the top right here too well you can tell and I'm very careful with my bags and I, as I said I don't use this bag every single day but I, I use it so um, I would say is is used is used something I, what I was gonna say is that this one this corner I don't know if you can tell here but they are like uh, sued right here so it keeps its shape you can tell right here they, they have this sewing right here and one of the corners that sewing fell off which for me was because this this was really early when I bought it so I thought, oh my God, that's terrible quality. That's gonna happen to all of the, all of the corners. And I'm careful with my bags. I don't think that I, I use them, but I'm not 
super harsh on, on my backs. I try to keep them as well as, as possible while I use them. So that happened to me. I don't know if that's an issue for some other people or, or if that only happened to me. I was really certain that that would happen to the other corners, but that didn't happen. So this was, you know, like here, you can see it just, the swing fell off, broke. So I don't know if that's an issue, but that happened to me. So the handles also holding up very well. I have to admit, I, I put cream on it, hand cream, the same that you use for your hands or everything, um, every once in a while, and that keeps the leather uh, very conditioned, so that helps my, my leather bags to be in better shape, especially because where I live is really, really humid, so it's terrible for bags because they just damage pretty quickly. Just by just with the weather. Actually, if you don't use them, they're like getting worse than if you use them. So the inside of the back, that's the outside. I would say that other than the borders, uh, it's quite in great condition for two years use. Uh, I I really expect my bags, especially the leather bags, to to last way more than two years. So that's why I'm doing this review. And if you're spending that kind of money, I, I hope you're you're also expecting for it to to last longer. I I have two two straps, the one that comes with it, that is this one, that I used that at the beginning because I'm not a, a handheld kind of girl. I, I, I like my bags on the shoulder. So I used it at the beginning, then I bought this one like a year later. No, I would say, no, like six months later. So I stopped using this strap because the guitar, guitar strap is a lot comfortable than this one. And the strap is just in perfect condition, I would say. The hardware, perfect condition. This is amazing because I've had a lot of issues with Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton's hardware. And for the price you pay, you get such crappy hardware, actually. So this one that I've used a lot, look at this. I cannot even see scratches on, the, on it. And I've used this strap a lot is so beautiful i bought this actually in the outlet in miami and an outlet from mark jacobs when i was there on vacations like six months after i bought the bag and i have to say this is amazing hard work it's not even a scratch i don't know how's that possible it is just right here it says mark jacobs and it is plain i think i bought this in an outlet but it was not at any discounted price, but I thought it matched so perfectly with my bag that I got it, even though it had no 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 discount. I remember that because my husband was like, "Why is that so expensive?" It was like ninety dollars or something like that, like that. I I think ninety U.S. dollars. So again, the hardware on the back. There's very little hardware, but it's 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 not a very shiny gold but i think it all the hardware is just like new it's really really nice um, it's not not scar not scratch anywhere you can tell here the hardware is amazing i have to say and the interior of the bag it has um like this pocket right here i actually have only paperwork, I just keep it inside the bags. And the interior, look at it. I put a lot of stuff in here when I use it because I carry my kid's clothes, his water bottle. So probably some water spilled here so sometime, uh, even though I try to be careful, but those same things happen. And um, it's actually in great condition. Look, I hope you can see right there. There's no stains. Of course, that's that's not the bag's fault, but you cannot even see dirt 
right there which I have other bags that in this type of color show a lot of dirt and this does not look like that so what can I say it's an amazing bag it's hold up really really great why I have a love-hated relationship with it is because of this lettering I know that's the that's the bag actually but sometimes I feel like I love it and sometimes I feel like I hate those letters so that's why but but the bag is really amazing and I think sometimes I love this part better but that's just me the bag is amazing really if you're on the fence to buy this bag uh, you should go ahead and get it because even though it's it's a bit expensive you know it will last so I totally recommend this bag and if you have any questions for me just let me know thank you so much for watching bye bye